Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy, and I have Hitch at my feet, and Worm is over playing in the laundry. Um, we tried to vet um, Hitch and get him his shots today. He's going to have to be sedated, so he is right under my feet, and we're just going to make do if I'm squirmish. I apologize, but yeah, it didn't go so well. He's still scared of everything, so um, I'm just adjusting here. So, um, our in the chapel verse, hey, 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 no, and I have lots of help, Worm has decided he loves crochet, so it says, and God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of the sound mind, 2 Timothy 1, 7, so, um, dealing with a lot of things that just make us nervous this week, and out of our control and the dog is scared like he is sitting right on me he is just scared um and all i did was take him to my office uh he got about five of his toenails trimmed and that's all they could get done um i talked to the vet and she had given me some trazinodone to give him which is supposed to calm him basically he's a groggy freaked out so he still freaks out it doesn't work yeah so anyway he is hitch he's very individual and we'll get there it just takes time so um i don't know if i showed you i'm pretty sure i showed you this but i did finish this um scarf it was still in the box so i'm not sure if i had showed it and didn't get it taken care of or didn't get it put where it goes or whatever so I did finish this one I made move or moose <sighs> I made worm a little hat and this is the front and it's got little ear holes and it ties on and he hates it so he's definitely not moose won't let me dress him up so much but uh, yeah it is what it is but he's fine <laughs> I'm gonna start dressing him in bow ties I guess because my dog has to be individual. That's all I can say. All right. The other thing in the basket now, I've got kind of a lot going on, but not really. Um, so let me start with um, this. So I mailed out the prizes, and the um, scarf has already arrived, or shawl, or whatever we want to call it, has already arrived at its destination. I haven't heard about the kit yet. But she wanted the kit that I did, so I'm in the process of making this. And this is the one that we had two of. She chose to actually take the finish shawl, and I sent her the pattern too. Um, so she got the little book, and but she got it done. The difference is the no no whatever the yarn that I dislike that pulls apart so easy. Um, it's a different color. If you remember, the other one had grays and greens and browns and muted tones. This is a little bit more loud. I think I've got it upside down. The dog was pulling at it. And of course, all these little tails, if you remember, I just make the whole thing and then I weave in all the tails. So I've gotten this far on it and I'll be working on that one. Then I decided what I was gonna do for all the girls at work and I am making them cowls. Now, I am doing just, uh, I'm not making them with anyone in mind. I'm just making. And I did make this. I still have to weave in the ends. So I might be dealing with this as a Christmas gift. Um, I don't know. So we'll see. I'll weave in the ends of it and go from there. But it's just a headband. But no ends are weaving in, woven in, whatever you want to say. Um, I may do some of these in solid color too, um, just because they were super simple. And hey, give me that. Hey, hey, hey. So I've gotten two cows done. I don't have the ends woven, in, but I have this one, and it's just a simple cow. Um, we all have blue jackets that we wear in the winter, so these are pretty simple. Then I have this one that I did. And like I said, ends still not woven, 
but I have this one that is a ribbed and it's done in a dark gray and I'm doing them in acrylic because we work at a vet office and they need to be washable and then I have this one and I'm making them big I'm making them tighter a um, little bit looser a little bit whatever I'm varying them just a couple of stitches so that you know because we're all adults hey 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 quit so I have this one done and that one done just with the need to weave, weave in the ends so there's two and then I have this one which is um, a little bit smaller but again the rib pattern done a little bit different stitch uh, quit it. Or, just so you can see it's a little tighter um, worm stop and yes he's literally dumping over the tote and taking my crocheted items he loves to eat them so I've got this one this one's a little bit smaller a little bit tighter we have you know older people we have them ranging from probably in their 20s all the way up to Deb is 70 so and they're all women I do have one gentleman to make he is our groomer and I think I'm just gonna make him a scarf a man's scarf um, so I have this one which is not done and I just pulled out a stitch ah. anyway so I've got blue and I'm actually using all of this um, Lana out of a kit that I got that I don't like the pattern so that Lana Maxi Delicate um, it came with this kit and it was the hat and the mittens and that yarn is so bulky cowls are even you know I, I just that way so I, I'm not real happy with it and if you remember I started when I, I actually frogged the hat I was working on for this and did it because it, it everything is just too bulky and the stitch that they have done I modified it to do it and so it's not really being put together their way I'm not using the kit as they said but I am using the kit and I hope to be able to get the bulk of them out all very hook sizes and patterns and that kind of stuff but I have two cowls done and a headband done I'm on my third cowl I need approximately 10 items for the women up there and I am using this kit so yeah it's it's going I had you know we've got two cows the headband was already half done um, working on the shawl this one I already had done I think from last week I I don't know if I showed it to you or not but I did finish it I don't know if I, I think I just had the ends to weave in so I finished it off I have this one then um, I have not worked on my mindless poncho or the summer shirt that came in the kit or the geo those three are kind of sitting there but I wanted to play with this um, and I got a lot done that and so it seems like I have a lot going on but I don't really so I did start this one and I am this far <laughs> literally like one row but this yarn and I think we discussed this last time this yarn is more like four pieces of thread put together so don't know that that's gonna go I was actually thinking of jerking it all out and making a large virus shawl and making it hey 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 chill hitch hitch stop he's just super hyper yeah so I was thinking about maybe making a virus shawl out of these and making a lightweight poncho and doing this in something else this is beautiful um, but I could see it done in a fingering weight not necessarily a thread weight like this it, it I don't know so I, I like this but I think I'm gonna switch yarns because I don't think that this yarn is and this is just the uh, they give you a uh, I think it might be upside down uh, they give you a chart too so um, I probably will be frogging this 
and using it for something else and making probably another virus shawl. Maybe two because of how much, I mean, I've got two skeins of this and maybe I'll just make two virus shawls and give those to the two vets at our office. I don't know. So, um, yeah, we'll see. We will see. Then, let's see. I've been working on all of that and just trying to get stuff done. Uh, but then, this other kit came and I so want to move on to this. I, okay, so the yarn is only great to me for one reason okay uh first off it's cotton okay that's not the part that i love okay um but it's the proper yarn for what they've sent the kit for and remember the kits seem to be coming faster but they're not really they got backed up because of a computer switch but they sent this one and it is a hobo bag and of course cotton is great for that but you have to see the yarn okay so there's the bag it's constructed in three parts and of course it's gonna have the two side ones and the bottom but oh I'm sorry I just got off work and we tried to vet hitch it, it just hasn't been a really wonderful day and worm is at my shoes and tying my shoes so yeah so the part about this yarn that i love is this is my colors this is there is a dusty rose there's a mauve there's a light blue there is a mossy green um yeah these colors let me see if i can where'd that paper go let's see if there's okay I don't know if that's going to let you see it any better. But these are my colors. I love these colors. These colors are what I would do. The only thing missing is like a muted gold. Um, not really a yellow, but more of a golden muted color to go with this. And that's awesome. So I probably will be making this bag. Um easy hitch easy let him up he's figured out how to pin worm down so anyway i probably will be making this bag because i hey hitch enough and this goes on all the time but hitch is kind of hey hey quit it just kind of stirred up because we tried going to the vet today and it didn't work. Um, he's scared of everything. Uh, my name tag, when I take it off and the magnet smacks back to it, that scares him to death. The clank of the kennels up there scares him to death. Um, it is hard to get in and out of the car with him and little man. <clears throat> so he has another appointment for Wednesday. And we're going to sedate him and do his nails and give him all his shots and <coughs> hey and all of that stuff and Shelby is going to babysit for me at lunch so I can bring Hitch back home so I only have to get him to the office together and then I can bring Hitch home at lunch and little man can stay with Shelby at the office and then he'll come home with me at night but he goes to work with me every day <coughs> so he's super used to it he loves Shelby uh, it, it's funny because she loves that dog too so anyway but like I said um, these are my colors I am going to get I'm going to make this um, but I do think I am going to undo this and do virus shawls for it um, just because I don't, I just really don't like it. Um, it's, like I said, it's four strands of thread, which I can thread crochet, but when it's not woven together, or how do I explain it? When there's absolutely no twist to it, it's super splitty. And it's because it doesn't 
I mean, you're working with it and you have to hold all four of them at once. And when you miss one, it leaves a big bubble and it's just not, just not my thing. So I think I'm going to do a virus shawl, but I might do, because I've got enough of this, instead of doing a virus shawl, there's a granny square virus shawl pattern. It's a combination. And I may try and do it again. I've done it before and it's really actually kind of cool, but we'll see. Um, I am not going to use a big hook on this. Uh, oops. I had, I don't remember what size hook in here. I, there it is. Um, but I had done a small hook for it. Um, it's an H. And I, I think this could be beautiful. I think this would be beautiful with this yarn. Um, but I'm just not, I'm knocking stuff down. I'm just not convinced that this needs to be done in thread. So I think a fingering weight, it would be beautiful. So I'm going to go shopping for a different yarn for this pattern. And I mean, just because you get the kits together doesn't mean you have to make what they say. I have attempted. It doesn't lay right. I don't like it. There's no sense in me going on. So I literally will probably frog that switch it over and start making a virus shawl and I may make a lightweight poncho type shawl or I may make two shawls one for each of the vets for Christmas so um yeah we'll see how that goes but this you know I'm gonna actually do um I don't know if I'll make it into a bag I, I really I might go buy something else to do the bag with who knows who knows um I might actually try it. I'm not sure. But I know that this um, yarn and this aren't going to happen together. I, I don't want it. Um, so I've got a lot of things that I'm working on that I quit working on because I don't like the way it lays. I don't like the way it did. So I probably won't be working on that. I'll probably frog it, set it aside, and decide what I'm going to do with that yarn. Um, and then finish up that one shawl or the one shawlette, I don't know, so, uh, this thing right here, finish this one. And then once I get that done, all I have left to do is cowls that I have started. And I know it looks like I've started a lot of them. I've got two done. Um, I want to have them done and ready for the girls for Christmas and find some, do some kind of something for the groomer that's up there. He's the only man in the entire office. So he'll probably just get a man scarf you know um don't know <sighs> might be a hat i don't know who knows but anyway so that's everything i've got in my tote everything that i started and i'm gonna frog you know like i said this one i already know by the way that that's working up i don't like it it looks it honestly Okay, so it looks like four pieces of thread. It, it doesn't really remind me of a yarn. And this little thing is pretty, but I want it to remind me of a yarn. So even when you're working, see all these little extra loops? You can tell it's just four pieces of thread. And I don't like the look of it. So, yeah. And you can see they don't always lay even, and then you have to even them out they super super tangly so yeah i'm thinking i'll i'll try that granny virus shawl and make it lightweight so that you know maybe have two wraps one for the vets one for each vet there at the office i think that'll work a lot better than this pattern that's going on i just think it would look better with a different yarn so i mean each to their own and remember these kits are done kind of like you know generic they have to appeal to the masses and maybe this does maybe i'm not the masses i don't know but i'm not going to push my luck i don't like it and i have found that if i don't like the way something lays or whatever i'm not going to waste my time doing it and then turn around and frog it so i've done one row 
hate it, it's not going to be that. So, um, which is fine. I mean, I'm just, I'm getting older and I've learned just not to waste my time because I'm not going to like it. So, I've got the, this one to do. That one's going to be frogged and it'll do something else. And then this one is going to be the cowls. So, I'll let you know how, how much further I get on them. That's all I can say. I don't, needless to say, with all of this going on, um, I don't have anything on the wheel. I wanted to get to something on the wheel, um, but I just haven't gotten there. And I'm pretty content working on all of these. Um, I really want to see some more progress. I mean, I know that I've brought two cows and finished a scarf and started another scarf and another cow. That sounds great, but I really want to get these cows done and have them for Christmas for the girls. Um, that means I have nothing in the pots. Um, I have not even had time, and you'll hear why here in a minute, to go to farmer's markets so I don't have anything in the fields. No great crop. Um, you know, the wind and light frost killed all of ours, which I don't feel bad because Porter Peaches is a big Oklahoma peach company. And they, I think, said they had one third of their normal crop. They lost a lot to the late frost. So I don't feel bad. My garden didn't take, but you know, hey. <coughs> All right. In RJ's world, um, oh, I am so sorry. Um, in RJ's world, so he has my car. His truck broke down. We got him back home. Um, he still has not gotten it fixed. Uh, it's not that he hasn't had people work on it. It's that mechanics can't figure it out. So, he is attempting. He's got some more fuel lines and stuff on order. He's got another guy coming. He's got my car until then. Macy, his girlfriend, is graduating today from cosmetology school. So, he's down there with her. He is literally borrowing truck to get a horse here and there and then hopping them in with others that have a way to bring them home so yeah it's he's trying the biggest news and I don't know if I can get this picture off I struggle to get things off of my phone into this uh, laptop so let me see if I can get this I know where it's at I just have to find it so Oklahoma has had one of the wettest summers in a long long time a lot of storms this is worse than spring weather I mean people um, over in Europe they're flooding I, I guess Germany has a death toll of 200 and rising or 180 and rising but so okay with that being said, um, Saturday night, Friday night, there was a big storm. Um, and it hit harder north than it did um, here. And so, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Uh, there we go. Okay. All right. It, he texted it to me, and in my text, I can't figure out how to make it bigger. So let me go to this. And so I know you're you're wondering what happened. That you know. Yeah. All right. So the storms came through, and it literally toppled the entire chimney and it fell into the house and this hole you can see the window there this pipe let me ah, hang on this pipe is the stove pipe right here you know for our wood burning stove the chimney fell and we now have a huge hole busted braces for the roof and it is tarped the insurance we have insurance so we're not worried about how there's a guy that came out he um 
took pictures, did an estimate, and is getting it to our insurance. And for right now, there's a tarp on the ceiling. And the chimney has to be rebuilt. So add that in to the truck stuff. And RJ happening to be the adult now because I don't live there. He actually told me, he says, Mom, I can see why you used to get stressed. He said, you know, it's tarp. Yes. But he says, everything happens at once. And I said, yes, it does. He says, you'll be going along. Everything be good. And then all of a sudden, one thing will happen and everything seems to go wrong. And I said, yes. And he, he understands why I'd get stressed and without his father stepping up and, and helping, um, RJ's finding out that it, it takes a lot. So I've been there for him. Um, I have walked him hand in hand through all the process of the insurance stuff. He has called me every night. Um, I can't remember if I told you, but his father didn't change the oil in his car, so he blew the motor in his car. He went and got another car. So yeah, there's been the car. RJ's got my car, the truck, the chimney. That's three, we're done. <laughs> I told him, I said, things naturally come in groups of three. And he said, good, we're done. I said, yes, we are. So the farmhouse has a, or the one that RJ lives in, has a hole in it. And it doesn't, it, it has a hole, but the hole is on the inside. And then you can see all the damage that was done, but there's still a roof up there, but it leaks. So um, we're praying for no rain until they get back to us, uh, you know, and it just takes time. There's a tarp up there. We're working on it. So his world has been very topsy-turvy. Um, my world, I finished the living room. Put all the last touches on it. The um, It got new light switches and new plug-ins. Um, let me see. I'm sorry, I have the hiccups and I don't know why. Um, let me see if I have some pictures. And I'm just going to blow them up and show you um it's a light gray and so there's one wall um i know the color isn't showing very well from camera to there um but it looks it looks really good i think i did a good job so if i can get those i will put them in right here Okay, so if you didn't see any pictures, yeah, you didn't get any pictures. You just got the camera version. <laughs> I struggle to get things in, okay? So, uh, it is what it is, but I've gotten that stuff done. I've been working on this stuff. Um, like I said, our big deal was we're trying to get Hitch his shots, and it's not that I can't get him. It's that the vet is going to have to sedate him in order to trim his toenails and give him his shots and all of his examination. He won't even let anyone touch him. He tries to slip the collar, he freaks out. So yeah, um, it is what it is. Next Wednesday, this is Thursday, and I only worked half a day, took him with me and was hoping to get it done today. Um, but, um, we tried Trazodone, which is just a pill. And he took the pill and it did okay, but it did not calm him down and they couldn't do it. So they're like, we'll just sedate him. And I said, okay. So yeah, he's a crazy man at the vets. He's so much calmer here and it takes him a little bit to calm down after being somewhere. But as long as this house is his world or whatever house he ends up in, if people give him time to adjust and have, he's happy he can function in his world. He cannot function outside of his world. Um, he likes to ride in the car. He loads up, but don't stop to get him out anywhere else or he freaks out. Um, it just, it's too much. So Wednesday, I'm going to take him back to work with me and I only have to get him there. Then the office manager is going to babysit the puppy so that 
I can bring Hitch home at lunch and go from there. So we'll have to get him bedded in the morning. Uh, and that way we know that it's done. Um, but yeah, he's going to come home at lunch regardless. So we may have to reschedule this several times. If they can get him sedated, they actually can do him really quick. It's getting him sedated and either I have to hold him or there's another um, kennel tech there, Deb, who's really patient with him and she can get, she's the one that got a couple of his toenails trimmed and just little things just messing with him and she gets further than anyone. So yeah, she's the one that helped me give him a bath. So it is what it is. Hitch has his own quirks and when we find him his realm um, and his domain, he will calm down and he'll be fine. It's just that way. So, all right. Other than that, I think we're good. My little puppy hat. <laughs> um, Worm let me put it on him one time. And then after that, it was like fair game. I'm going to eat it. But he's got little holes for his ears and yeah. And it looks really cute on him but he won't leave it. So I'm not wearing a hat, but that's okay. That's okay. We will figure something else out, won't we? He's like looking at me going, no. <laughs> so anyway, it kind of looks like a diaper, I guess. It could be britches. <gasps> I could put his legs in this and tie him up over his, yeah, there we go. He could have pants, just saying. Anyway, so life right now is what it is. I've got a lot of little things going. I want to get 10 cowls done and one scarf or one hat. I don't know what I'm going to do for him yet. And I am literally breaking down Christmas. And I probably will sit here and rip out this one right here and do something else with it. Uh, like I said, a virus shawl I think would be cute done that way. But yeah. It, it's just not my favorite. I'm not liking the way it works up. And I think that this would look better in a DK weight. I don't think that this yarn that, you know, it says Red Heart, it's a wrap rainbow, which is what this is. But this shawl is not made with that. It's just not. And I think a, a little bit thicker shawl will be better um than that so yeah i don't know i just think it would look cuter as something else honestly i could see this done in cotton with these colors now there might be something i don't know um i'll have to look at yardage and see but cotton is going to make it really kind of heavy, though. I th I think a, a fingering weight would be better than this thread. So, yeah. I'm trying to find something that I could show you how thin this really is. Because it's not... I don't know. I don't know. It's, not, it's just not very big. And I don't have really anything to show you. But anyway, so I'm going to make something different with this. Uh... Like I said, I attempted it. I like the pattern. The pattern is gorgeous. Just not going to use this yarn with that pattern. And that's the way the kit came. So, anyway, all right. I think I'm done and I'm off here. Um, I'm going to relax a little bit. It's my half day. I had Krista um, Tuesday and we had fun, but it makes for a long day and she never wants to go home. But, ah. Anyway, so I will get off of here. I will talk at y'all later, get this uploaded, and we'll go from there. And hopefully next week I'm going to have a bunch of cows to show you. <laughs> Who knows? Talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.